Today we'll take you on a step-by-step -step guide on how to craft image theatre. Stage 1. Methods of exploration. Let's start with the methods of starting and stopping your actors. You can use this physical gesture to start and stop their movement, as you can see from the example behind me. Consent is important. Engage in a conversation with your performers about their preferences. Ask them whether they're comfortable with being physically moved. This ensures a respectful and collaborative environment. Option A. For image theatre creation, you can employ physical touch to move them and focus more on small details. For example, the hands, the fingers and expression. Option B. You can create a gesture and they will mirror you. When you want them to stop, you can do a photo gesture and say click. Experiment with each technique or combine them to create unique dynamics in your piece. Stage two, theme and form. Now let's dive into the creative process. Choose a theme for your piece. It could be as specific as kindergarten or as open as freestyle into music. Decide collectively if you are crafting a group sculpture, individual artworks, or something that comes together as a bit more of a surprise. You have the option also to reveal the theme to the performance. Stage three, creation time. Allocate five to 10 minutes for the creation of your image theatre piece. Emphasize the importance of silence during this phase. However, Performers can also speak out if they are feeling challenged or uncomfortable by a movement that stretches them a bit too far. After crafting this image, step out of it to gain fresh perspectives and insight into your creation. Stage four, movement dynamics. Now, once your image is finalized, it's time to explore movement dynamics. You can give the performers the command to make the action bigger. Performers will also have the option to engage in repetitive movements within the human sculpture in keeping with the theme of the piece. Alternatively, they can create continuous movement or improvised movement based on the image. This means that the movement that they will be doing is more freestyle and it empowers your performers to infuse their creativity into the narrative. And that's it. That's the basic framework for creating image theatre. Now remember that this framework can be tailored to meet the needs of your target group. It is a flexible process and it can be repeated and adapted to create captivating pieces of theatre. Thank you very much.